Hey everyone, I am, well, I'm alive, obviously, um, yes, I I'm not dead, and it's passing it. I, I sure think it has anyway, um, anyway, happy Halloween guys, um, I may not have a Halloween special, but what I can do is dress up my character in a costume, because it is Halloween, so I'm gonna make it seem that way. I'm sorry, I did not have an intro prepared for this. Normally I do, but let me just take this from the top again. Hey everyone, it's Rose Crystal and I'm back with another episode of A Hat in Time. Last time we took on the fourth world. Like some kind of sky road? I'm not sure what it's called, give me a second. Um, yeah, chapter four, Alpine Skyline. And we're doing a free roam. It's the first time ever that the game has done something relatively close to a free roam. And so we can keep going back and forth here. And we did the windmill last time. So now we're going to see what the other places in this world has for us. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, now we're at Sizzling Lava Split. Far different from the windmill that we used to have when we were at last episode. <laughs> oh, back. I haven't played this game in a bit since the last time I have recorded, so. This heat is great! Oh, it's even hotter to the right! But before I was interrupted, I have not played this since I played last time, so this is gonna be. getting used to. That's all I'm really saying. show up the first time. Not good. This heat is great. <laughs> Not good at all. I swear I'm better at this. I just have not played in a very long time. Or recorded in a very long time, for that matter. Okay, good, I didn't, ha didn't want to be able to start over. Not again. This heat is great! Want my timepiece, dang it. Really? Gosh dang it. Not 
like in this. <laughs> Just saying. Hang on, dude. Recording. Hand time. I'm gonna take the last and see what happens. Gosh dang it, man. It's the third time now. I'm gonna take the left path, and if I really, and if it comes like in a loop to loop kind of way, I'll come back and take the right path. I don't know, man. I, I'm starting to get run out of ideas here. Because I, I, you need to beat at least all four of these. You get like an extra jump every time you do a dive, so you gotta put that into account as well. Yeah, this is taking us to our time piece already. I think either one would have taken you there. Yeah, there's a horn in. So we gotta do that. does lead to that one, so that's it, I think. I'm not sure what they look like. It has been a very long time since I've played. Okay, we're back to Sizzling Lava Split. Wasn't this just where we were? It was. I think we have to do what we have to do and go to the right. This heat is great! Oh, Finally! For the lava cake. Yeah, that might be our way to go. Eight minutes. Nine minutes to get over there. Shame. I'm usually better at this stuff. Ember Summon. I think this is where we have to go now. It's, it's clicking onto something. Oh, frick me. <laughs> Not good. Back I go. Almost didn't see that. Yeah. Okay, that's a normal one. Finally, a checkpoint. So lava cake is where we're supposed to head out, because that's where the timepiece is. And you can see as much with the glowy, shiny thing up there, I'm pretty sure. Not 
not good. We just phase right through the map, because you know, if it's not possible with other players, it's possible with me, because I find all the glitchy deaths for some reason. It always happens with me. I swear, if I had died from that, I would be so mad. Cleared Ember Summit. Wonderful. It's over here. Just in the way that pair of binoculars was positioned. Yeah, here it is. But here's the other, here's the nice little trick. You have to get over there without making eye con contact with the wall. Because you saw how we did that earlier and fell, so. so gotta find a way over there without dying. Because I'm, I'm obviously on death's door. And doing any more risky moves like that will just get another game over. And I don't want that. Let's go! Maybe you can let go of X. Apparently I figured that out last episode that you can let go of X and you'll be fine. But I was holding on to X on the previous episode because I was afraid I'd fall. The lava cake. Goodness. I had a pretty good idea it was a lava cake. Man. I don't think I now that I think about it, I don't think I ever finished this world on my like previous playthrough on my brother's computer because I did the windmill, that's how I remember this place. But I never finished anything else, so this is gonna be a new experience for everybody, including me. Yeah, I don't remember doing any of this, so... Let's do this together. Not a clue. Oh duh, I can use the witch hat, because it is Halloween. <laughs> That'll be much more beneficial to me than the Dweller's Mask. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. Yeah. 
Nope. I see the previous camera angle is blocking my view since I didn't know what went up and what went down. Goodness, so much talking, so little concentrating. Need concentration. Absolutely. How'd you guess? worth going out of our way for. Let's go back to the lava cake. I think if I can find a way down. That's step number one, finding a way down. <laughs> the best way to do it, mind you, but... Oh, I see. Wait for it to recharge. That makes a lot of more sense now. Okay. Our way... Our way back. Grab that timepiece. Uh, sorry, not timepiece quite yet. Uh, 
Grab that yarn piece out of the way. Lava cake done. I'm thinking since it's been a while since I've been a hat in time episode, I was gonna do two and one today. So we did the lava cake, we did the windmill, and now it's a matter of time before we do something else. So let's find our next task. Have you noticed those bright flashing lights in the sky? They started appearing recently after some weird hourglasses fell from the sky. I wonder what they could be. We already did the windmill and already did the lava cake, so that's all we have left to do. In any case, I really wish they wouldn't be so bright. They're blinding. Sorry about that. These telescopes let you look at far away peaks. I think all we have left to do is the one in the dome, because that's where the camera points to. Oh, hello there. That's not good. About the Vanessa's Curse DLC. Yes, I have. But I'm going to finish this whole game before I move on to any DLC content. I might Make play sure it. You swing towards the path you want. Yeah, I, I will play the DLC. Maybe on my own time. Maybe on the channel. Who knows? I'm still up for debate if I'm going to play it to begin with. that'll open up possibilities for us. I mean that in a more literal sense. It really does. Okay. The camera faces away from a lot of things for us. Get up the simple wall. How? I'm gonna spend more time at this wall than the actual level, aren't I? Is 
ridiculous. Literally ridiculous. Oh, hi there! How did I do that? There's something I did. I pressed... Yeah, I don't know how I did that. This is ridiculous. Literally ridiculous. Crazy guys, I'm tougher. I've gone through more difficult parkour. There we go. Gosh dang it! What took me so long? I'm gonna run back this recording and be like, "Come on, pass me. You can do it." And it's a wall that gets me—a small wall, jumping little wall. Gosh dang it! Oh my lord, didn't even see that either. I am oh, not liking it. towards the new open path. As you can see, another path stuck out there. Make sure you swing towards the path you want. Yeah. And now we go back, because now there is a new path to the To the left. depends on what way that kid's facing. I don't think we really needed to come down, but after my lack of parkour skills, I really don't want to risk it. Let's, uh, let's come down here first and get it from a more manageable height. Okay. 
Yeah, here we go, birdhouse. And our timepiece is right there. So let's get to it. I am, this is, it's really exhausting to play this game, especially because it's all made for right-handed people. The birdhouse. This game is made for right-handed people, and I am left-handed, so this is agonizing. Playable, but agonizing. Not everything I sell is of value. I also sell terrible badges, and yet, people buy them anyway. Well, I don't need the badges. I'm pretty sad with what I got. Holy honkers, that's a big bird. Oh. Goodness. There's something strange about some of those eggs. You don't say. One blew over my face. Oh, jeez, that scared the living crap out of me. And I was ready for it, too. Put a bunch of jump scare ones right at the beginning. Oh my lord. Just get rid of them immediately. There we go. Wake this guy up, goodness. a way to reach. No, even with my jump strength, there's no way I'd make it over there.
once I made it down there, it was like a one-way thing, and that's not good. How far is that going to send me back? Who knows? Okay, not too far back. Okay, so we were able to get really close to the bird's nest, but not close enough. Okay, from there you can get around there, but maybe the ultimate path. Where will it lead us? Okay, that just leads us to a rift out. So don't go with where the red light is. Hmm. Okay. I either go down there, or I go up here. There's a lot of options open, but not too many. Takes us back right to where we started. I remember this place.
really look like you can those, I mean, you can hit them from far away, I would think so at this point. Say, how do you want me to reach up there? Alright, let's wake this guy up. Alright, we're gonna get closer. Oh, I love how she's like trying to keep the music of it down because he's sleeping. I even noticed that at first. That's awesome. He's just like, no, 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 stay quiet, stay quiet. Alright, that should be everything. So, we're gonna see what the boss chapter holds for us, so let's get back to the main hub. Of course the Snatcher's here, because, I mean, guy just makes his home anywhere, I guess. Oh, you know, what it, you know what would suck if I wasn't recording this whole time and I just did that blind reaction and all? <laughs> that would suck. Anyway, let's go see what the Snatcher's up to, and then we'll check to see if we unlock the boss level. I'm not going to make time rifts a priority at the moment, but um, I'll likely go back for him. Right now, I just want to beat the main story, considering this has dragged on a lot longer than I initially thought it would. Hi, Snatcher! Are you from a DLC my brother purchased? Because my brother seems to have a lot of DLC for this game, and it's all on my account too, so... I'd like to know if that's part of it. Nice place you got here, kiddo. What's up? Still alive and well, I see. What a shame. That's unfortunate for you. How about we fix that with a little deal? Tell you what, you do some fresh new contracts for me, and I'll reward you handsomely. If you survive, that is. I've got this little map for you. You'll notice I've marked just one contract on it for now. You'll have to complete it before you unlock the rest. Checks and balances, you know. Well, oh sorry, I was just, like, my entire mind was somewhere else. Let me just reread this. And be careful, kid. These aren't your average everyday contracts. These are advanced contracts. That seal the deal DLC? We wouldn't want you to die on the job, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Seal the deal. Of course. Part of some DLC stuff. Beat the heat. We're, we're gonna do these later, because I'm not gonna do 114 things right now. I'm gonna beat the main story, and likely, if I really want to, I'll do Seal a Deal as part of the Hat in Time playlist. If you guys want that, just comment down below, and I might consider doing it, because you saw that that was a lot right there from the start, and the main story is already large enough as it is. So, let me go... See if the boss level is unlocked. Ah, oh, almost. So I assume there's one more to go. The time rifts are totally different compared to this. So for now, we're gonna end the episode here. Since I said it would be two and one, 
and we'll see where our last timepiece is along with the boss level. So, I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see the next episode of A Hat in Time and the last level of Alphine Skyline along with the boss, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!